Welcome to this video. We will be talking about simple distillation. Let's get straight into it. So as you can see from the diagram, simple distillation involves some pieces of equipment. I'm going to get into that in a second. Firstly, why do we use simple distillation? What is the separation technique in terms of what are we trying to separate? Well, of course, we're trying to separate a mixture. This time we're trying to separate a liquid from a solution and a classic example is here on the left hand side we've got a, a solution of seawater and we can separate pure water from that so let's have a look at the pieces of equipment that you need for simple distillation so over here we have our flask sometimes called a round bottom flask and this is where we are going to put our solution of seawater remember seawater is salt and pure water we're trying to separate out the liquid the water from the salt okay so here you've got your flask you've got a rubber stopper over here that is going to uh, seal everything inside the flask and then we have this little thing over here which i'm going to attach to my flask like that okay and this uh, device over here is called a condenser and it does exactly that uh, it's going to condense a gas into a liquid and basically the condenser has two parts it's got this pipe that's running down the middle and it's got this um, outside device called a water jacket and the water jacket continually has water flowing in through this inlet here so water will go in so that's not quite working water water in okay water in through here this can be from like a tap or um, any kind of water source water is going to go in it's going to continually be flowing around this jacket around this pipe water is going to be flowing around and water will then flow out of here water out okay and you're going to have a continuous stream okay surrounding this inner tube okay so what's going to happen here is we then are going to need a source of heat and that's provided here with this diagram that i've just messed up um, but this would be a bunsen burner providing heat and then right at the end if i just rub out this water in over here right at the end we are going to collect the liquid that we want with just a standard beaker so you've got your beaker over here okay so as you heat the solution of seawater what's going to happen is water is going to reach uh, a certain temperature maybe 100 degrees or not maybe but exactly 100 degrees and what if effectively is going to happen here is just get a nice uh, gray pen what's going to happen here is the water is going to turn into a gas and is going to evaporate so really important to use that word we have evaporation taking place here Okay, water is going to evaporate and the pressure that builds up inside this flask is going to force this vapor to flow down this tube. Now, as soon as it gets into this condenser, it's going to do exactly that. It's going to condense the water as a gas back into a liquid. And what's going to eventually happen here is, let me take this little device here sorry that's not what we want we want this thing okay so the water eventually is going to turn back into a liquid in the condenser and it's going to drop into this beaker and eventually what's going to happen is this beaker is going to fill up with pure water that's exactly what we want we want to separate uh, seawater we want to separate pure water from seawater so eventually what's going to collect on this side is pure water and eventually what's going to happen is the seawater is going to get lower, lower and lower and lower. And eventually right at the bottom of this flask, we are going to collect a whole bunch of salt crystals. 
Okay, so that is simple distillation. I hope it's been helpful and see you next time.